Hey, how's it going guys? It is Fox United Day here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel today. We're going to be finding out if it is fun to drive backwards at France on F1 2021. As you know, we've been doing this for the entirety of F1 2021 in terms of all the circuits. And we're here at the French Grand Prix. If you're enjoying today's video, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here as well. And we're going to get straight into things. So I just want to get straight onto the track and get driving backwards. Because as you guys know, I love driving backwards. Also, my voice sounds really weird this morning. It sounds super deep. I'm not even. It's not only the case of me just waking up. I just have... I feel like I've just hit puberty and mass ballage and pure male deepness in like 10 seconds, which is brilliant. I haven't even done much. So, let's get to about here. That'll do. So we can at least experience a full lap of the circuit Borica at, uh, should we say, normal uh, normal standards. That's a bit of a tough corner already. So we'll have DRS in the back straight, or pit straight then, obviously. Heading now down in towards first corner. Let's see where we need to break. DRS, baby? Yeah, just about. Next corner. Shut up, game. Not too bad through there. Now, this corner is normally a third gear corner. Or you could sort of break for that. And that's a weird corner, actually. What's this corner like? Yeah, you... Oh, oh, okay. That's an even stranger corner to be a part with. Hmm. That final sector... Final? Final, final sector is not the easiest sector in the slightest. Let's go through here now. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, you'd want to open yourself up, really. Compromise that first part of the chicane to open up this straight, because you've got a whole straight to work with. Alright, moving on. What's next? Fling it in. Well, that's nuts. Ooh. Ooh. That's a difficult corner to get right. You can gain or lose time there. Alright, and that's a lap backwards then. First time experiencing that, this is going to be tough. This is going to be very, very difficult to get right. Um, this is going to take me probably as much time as it took for Monaco, perhaps, actually. I think it was that I struggled the most with. Because this track is, well, it's full of these sweeping corners. The sweeping corners are the worst corners on the track, on the, on the game, sorry, to try and perfect backwards. Because they're just... Their braking zones are so unpredictable, and their acceleration points are also the same. Oh my god, that corner is a ball ache. Really is. Oh dear. In fairness, I took too much curbing, but still. This track is just very, very challenging. I don't even miss this properly. Oh, for God's sake. I was, I was literally about to have... Probably get up towards my first proper clean lap and then I cocked it up.
Perfect, there we go. That's the first clean lap here at the circuit, pour a car backwards. So now, of course, we will go for a second lap to get our side-by-side -side comparison. As things currently stand, we've never actually had our first lap be faster than our second lap. We've always found a lot of time on our second lap. So we will now go and try and find that time uh, and set another lap time. But we're starting to really get a hang of this track now and how it likes to work. Oh, for Christ's sake. I was on for another clean lap and I've messed up again. Never mind, we'll go again. At least the advantage with this track is that the, uh, is curved. Because of the way the, the track is formed, it's much easier to actually get a lap in when the curbs are around to really help you. So that's something that I'm using to my advantage. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. It's, it was difficult enough trying to actually just get an initial lap on the board, but now of course I'm at that stage with every single one of these videos where I'm literally just trying to find extra time. It's just it's just a piss take, it really is. It's really annoying me. Um, I'm just taking the cheap route here now when I screw up these challenges. This is what I do if I mess up a lap early on. I'll just go to here and I can just start again instead of doing a whole lap backwards to get around again. There we go, job done. That's the second lap then. Second clean lap, and that is circuit pull record backwards complete. Uh, I'm very much happy uh, with those two laps. Now we'll go to a side by side comparison for you guys. You can have a look at both the laps together, see where I found and lost time on each of my laps. Alright, so now that you've seen those, hopefully you enjoyed them obviously. And if you enjoyed this video, drop it a like. Um, but now we're obviously going to focus on circuit pull car driving it backwards. Is it fun to drive it backwards? Perfectly honest with you, yes, it is fun to drive it backwards. Actually, I do, I do enjoy it. Um, it's one of those tough circuits because driving backwards with corners that are mostly just high-speed sweeping corners, which is what France is, I feel like is very difficult uh, because you don't. You, it takes you a long time to adjust to where you need to brake how long that you need to brake for, how much speed can you carry through a corner, how much can you get on the exit of a corner, like through here, you know, flicking the car and how long do I have before I have to brake, because it just comes at you.
So that's kind of what it's like, really. You know, how, how much can you actually press up uh, on those situations? Like these corners here, you know, how long can I push onwards for? So it's a little bit of a difficult one, but all in all, I think... I'd actually probably say it's better to drive the French Grand Prix circuit forwards than it is backwards. I think it just has a better flow to it, especially these corners, they work for driving forwards, not backwards. Um, it's probably more fun to drive this track forwards, in my personal opinion. But um, hopefully you ended up enjoying today's video though. If you did, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new answer as well. And I'll catch you guys for the next video, where of course we'll be heading to, is it the Red Bull Ring yet? It is, the Red Bull Ring, uh, to see how that track fares going forwards or backwards. But for now, I'm out. Take care all. Peace.